Why did you change your coach from Moya to Krejci? So well, it was just the timing of how things went, and I feel like for me to make the steps I want, especially forward, uh, specifically with that focus, is you have these two guys that move very well laterally, and I don't think I'm ever going to be the best guy from the baseline by any means, especially not against them. If I'm going to take it to them, it's going to be by coming forward, so I wanted to improve in that aspect. Yes, why did you add uh, Richard Krajcik to your staff? That's uh, <laughs> the exact same question. But uh, no, yeah, it's really to help me be more efficient going forward. Uh, I, I believe you have these two guys that are phenomenal at uh, right now at the top of the game, covering the baseline. And it's really hard to get by them, especially with the way they move. I can't expect to move like they do. I, I think I've got to be at least 20, 25 pounds heavier than them. So it's going to be my moving forward, and I think that Richard could really help me in being more aggressive, more more forward orientated, and more efficient when I, when I'm able to get myself coming in. With regard to that, Milos, a year ago here, you seemed to be doing a lot of that. You were going to the net a lot here this time last year. You got to the semi-finals. You were one set away from the final here. Do you think you need to be up there? even more? Does Richard think you need to be up there more? Uh, I wouldn't say even more. I think it's about the consistency of it. When I was here last year, I was very efficient at coming forward. I did a lot of things well. But if you, it could be because of the sort of injury after that I didn't have really the capacity to train properly, that it sort of drifted away. It come time to, to March in Indian Wells, Miami, I wasn't coming in as much. Obviously in clay, it's its own situation. Wimbledon and through the grass, it obviously the situation did help me come forward more. But then through the rest of the summer and fall, I didn't do it that much. So with those lapses of consistency, it's really hard to make the true progress. So that goal is to some days it's going to be more efficient than others. But if I'm able to put myself in that situation more consistently, I will continue to improve. Is it, is it, sorry, is it something that comes naturally to you psychologically? Or, or do you have to actually remind yourself, actually, I'm playing at the back too much, I need to go forward? Well, it depends on which scenarios. Uh, sometimes I, against guys that are lower ranked, I can get away with winning from the back. So sometimes I'm not disciplined enough or, or attention focused on that specific thing enough in those situ situations. Uh, and then, obviously, you don't want to be arriving to a quarterfinal or semifinal in these big tournaments and then expect yourself to be efficient coming forward. So it's about attaining that perspective and that command within myself to do it from the beginning of the tournament so that when it, it does get to later stages where it's not very optional, it's something that I need to do if I want to give myself the best opportunity to win, it's been already sort of tried, tested and true by then. How do you feel game-wise coming into the tournament after the few matches you had since the start of the season? Oh, I feel very good. I feel like I'm doing a lot of things better and obviously this year is very different from last year. Last year the first matches of the year were the most important to me because I didn't play at the end of 2015, so I really needed to get an understanding of where I was at. Right now I have a much better understanding of where I'm at, and now it's really about I know what I can get out of myself. It's more important to be mentally prepared, sort of grit my way through and get that out of myself. Some days I'll be successful, some days not, but if I'm mentally able to really be on top of myself, I'll give myself somewhat of a chance to win and hopefully progress throughout the tournament. You are world number three right now, so could you catch up uh, Novak and Andy? So do, do you have a confidence? I, I definitely do have that confidence, but it's going to take some time because uh, they're significantly ahead of any, anybody as, as far as points goes and as far as results over the past 12 months. Have you changed anything in your preparation physically, I mean, to try to get rid of the injuries you, you got uh, last uh, year? We focused on different things. I think sort of the hours spent on court, we did that a little bit less in the off season. Uh, just uh, most of my injuries do tend to be in the lower half of my body. So there was two focuses, obviously spending less time pounding my, my lower body on concrete. So spent more time in the gym, spent uh, sort of changed around that ratio a little bit. Obviously the off season was as, as long as previous years as well. And then also just focused on losing a little bit of weight and refocusing on that, just something that can help me throughout the year. Obviously, those uh, those hours spent with a few extra pounds here and there 
can make a difference, hopefully. Thank <laughs> you.